Hi and welcome to another video by Get It Done Home Repairs. Today's project, we're in the back, we're going to actually be painting this door. Now there's different ways you could paint the door. You could paint it with a roller or a paintbrush, but you will wind up with little lines in it or what they call orange peel in it. I prefer to do it with a spray paint, uh, so I'm going to prime it and then put a finish coat over the top of it. It gives it a very professional look. It looks like it was actually sprayed right from the factory. All right, so the first thing we do is we took it outside, obviously, put it on some uh, something to raise it off the ground. We got some steel wool, and we're gonna use a, it's, it's called a triple zero, it's zero, zero, zero steel wool. It's a very fine steel wool. It doesn't really leave any scuff marks in the painted surface or in the primed surface. It actually just takes all the imperfect areas out of it. So we have the steel wool, and if, the, if there's bumps that need to be come, come out of it, or if there's a damaged area, you may need to use a sandpaper. You can use a very, uh, a very fine grit, like a 320, all the way on up to 600, depending on how much damage is on the product itself. We are gonna then tape it off with, a, with some painter's tape. And of course, we have paper to cover the windows and cover the sides so we don't have paint all over everything. And right, so the, the way we use steel wool is you just take the steel wool, obviously, and you go the direction of the grain of the door itself. Now, this particular one happens to be metal, but you may have wood, so you want to always follow the grain of the wood. And you're not really doing a lot. You're just actually roughing it up just slightly so that the primer has something to stick to. So we're going to do this all the way around the door. Once we have that done, we'll come back, we'll tape it up, and then we'll put our first coat of primer on. All right, so uh, stick around, and we'll come right back. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to come in here with an air chuck, and we're going to blow off all of the dust that's on there just to get the, uh, the big stuff out. Now, if you don't have an air chuck, of course, you can use just a rag and a bucket of water, which we're going to do it anyway just to make sure we have everything off of it. It's very important that you get all of the dust off of there. Otherwise, when you put your first coat of primer on there, that dust is going to cause the primer not to stick, and it's going to cause like a little bump in the primer, and it's going to look pretty, uh, pretty lousy. So take the time. Make sure you get everything out, especially from all of the small little crevices. You want to make sure you get it all out, because when you come in there with the spray can, just the spray from the can is going to cause all that dust to be kicked up. And, uh, and contaminate the area where you're going to paint. So take the time, make sure it's perfectly clean before you go any further. The next thing we're going to do after we have it all cleaned off and thoroughly dried out, and make sure that it's dry because otherwise you're going to have a, a water on there and it's going to be a problem as well. So make sure it's thoroughly dried out. As you can see, we did do this outside in the sun, so it dried up pretty quickly. It's a day when it's probably about 85 degrees out here, so it is pretty hot. The next thing we did is we came in here with, um, with painter's tape and we made a nice straight line where we wanted to, uh, to paint and where we didn't want the paint to get onto. So we're going to cover the glass. We covered the, the outside edges of it and especially we covered where the lock is going to go through as well because you don't want the, the paint going down and contaminating the other side, especially if you painted it already. Now, of course, when you're painting it, you're going to always move in a very fast um, pace. You're not going to stay in one spot because otherwise you'll, you'll wind up with pooling of the paint, which is called curtains, and you really don't want to have the paint um, looking like a drip, sort of, or like a run. So we're going to always keep the can moving, press the, uh, the button on the can, of course, and as you stop, let go of the button. And we're going to have one section overlap the other all the way around to the, to the full, uh, all through the side and then down over the bottom. We're going to make sure we get in the, the, the hole where the, where the lock is going to go so it's totally painted in there as well. And we're going to work our way all the way around it. I just want to point this out too. If the, if the paper is going to blow up and contaminate the area where you're going to be painting, make sure you tape the paper down. In this case, we have a short piece of paper on there, so we don't have to worry about that. It's very important that when you paint, that the paint overlaps the area where you, where you finished painting, so make sure it overlaps it. You want to put it on fairly heavy, but not too heavy to make it run. This way it'll give a nice, shiny, like a glass kind of a, of a finish on it versus a, a, a what's called a orange peel 
type of finish. Now you always want to, as, as you know, you always want to paint it in the outside air because you don't want to paint it inside because you'll actually contaminate the area in the house and you'll have all those fumes. Now it's very important that when you paint, you always use a good primer. And remember, primer is just like the glue that holds the paint to the door. The paint will not hold as well as the primer will hold. So the primer gets onto the door, the primer goes down into all of the little tiny crevices, and it'll, it'll dry up really good. Now you don't have to have the primer where it's totally covered. You can prime it, and it doesn't have to be totally covered as long as you have all of the areas where you scuffed it up that have, uh, have primer on it, very important. Now after the primer has had time to dry, you want to come in and you want to spray the door. Again, the exact same thing. As you move in the can, you press the, the, the button on top of it. And when you stop, let go of the button. You don't want to have this spray paint all over everything. Make sure you get all of the areas. As you can see, I'm spraying now where the glass contacts the door. We're spraying it all the way around, especially on the side of it where the metal meets the wooden part that closes into the jam itself. So we're making sure we get a nice coat of paint on there. When you spray them with the paint, depending on where or, or how breezy it is outside, you may have to hold the can a little bit closer than you normally would. Uh, usually it's about 12 inches away. And as you can see here, we're doing probably six to eight inches away because it was just a little bit of a breeze outside. So we wanted to make sure we had a nice coat of paint covering everything. And we're going to make sure we overlap it. Now, remember when you put your final coat on, it doesn't have to be a very, very heavy coat initially. When you put the second or possibly even the third coat on, it'll cover 100%. Just make sure you get all of the areas. So the first coat we're going to put on now of paint, we're going to let that dry. Probably, I'm going to say, within 15 minutes to a half an hour, depending on what the humidity is and what the temperature is where you're working. As I said here, it's in the 80s, and the humidity is very low, so the paint is going to dry fairly quickly. Plus, we're in the direct sunlight, which is going to speed up the drying process as well. And we'll make sure we get all of the areas, especially where the tape meets the door. We want to make sure that it covers that totally. Next, after the paint has dried to the, uh, to the touch, you can actually come up to an area that's not visible and just touch it with your finger. It'll, it'll be dry it'll be a little bit tacky but uh, it'll be dry and then we'll come in and we'll put our second coat on and we'll make sure we overlap everything so that it it totally covers the previous layer of coat of uh, paint below it and as I said we're going to put it on a little bit heavy because we are laying it flat if you're painting this and the door is standing upright of course you'll need to be more careful that you don't put the paint on too heavy that it runs but in this case here you can see laying the door down flat it actually helps to, uh, to keep the paint from running and it gives it a nice, clean, shiny surface. So we're going to do this all the way around. Alright, so as you can see, painting the door is really not that difficult. The main thing is that when you put a primer coat on, remember primer is just the glue that holds the paint to the metal surface. It doesn't have to be a perfect coat of primer, it just needs to be a very thin coat of primer. So the primer was down, it dried to the, con to the touch, and then we came in and we redid three coats of the color on top of it and we waited about 15 minutes in between each coat because you're not supposed to let it uh, let it dry for more than an hour before you recoat it. So we waited 15 minutes, it was tacky to the touch and we recoated the three coats. We're going to let this dry thoroughly. We're going to let it dry thoroughly because the uh, the paint it takes I believe it's like six to eight hours to dry, 24 hours to dry thoroughly. So we're going to let it sit out here and we're going to let it dry a little bit. And then once it's dry, we'll pull all the tape off, hang the door up, and this job will be done. Okay, here's the finished product. After we put the lock back into it and we hung the door back onto the hinges, you can see that the finish is perfect. You see absolutely no brush marks in it whatsoever. It's absolutely a perfect job. Like It, look, it looks like a finish of a car. It's so, uh, so clear. But that's it. When you spray it, that's the finish you get. All right, as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.